Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Let's do a Dior lip swatching video. I bought, well obviously five, but way too many Dior lip velvets. I am a huge lover of matte lipsticks and I'm on the journey to find the perfect matte lipstick formula. So I bought one <laughs> and I loved it and I bought so many more. If you know about Dior, you know they are not afraid to push the envelope when it comes to unique colors. So we're just gonna swatch all of these. We're gonna have a good time. I will start off with the nude shades and then go into the red shades. My lips are not prepared. My eye makeup, my whole look is already filmed. It's either up before this one or will be up soon after this one. So look out for that one. I'll have the link in my description box somewhere. Let's start off with the nude shade. Let me tell you really quickly. I have a huge love affair for Dior and I don't own any other lipsticks from Dior prior to this one. The formula is, it's matte. I know they have a new satin formula too. They have been all about that clean life. If that's you, that's great. I love that for you. I am neither here nor there. There is a slight scent to these, not preferably for me. The scent itself isn't really one that I would gravitate to. I like vanilla scents, but I don't really need scents in my, my makeup. That's, that's personal, that's very subjective. I'm gonna start off with the shade 220. This is Beige Couture. Packaging, gorgeous. Magnetic closure, twist. It has that luxurious Christian Dior symbol on the front, you can't mistake it. It has this lovely reflective silver on top of the black lacquer. There is enough weight to this that is comfortable. I am impressed by this packaging. I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with my Hourglass number one, Expose. This has quickly become one of my favorites as far as lip liners go. I do have a Dior lip liner in the shade 100. I don't really wanna pull that out. I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have on my vanity. This was the last shade that I picked up. I started off with the darker shades. I am very intrigued by the unique colors that Dior has released. So this was last, but everybody needs a nude, so here's our first nude. Well, first and only. But the formula though, <laughs> I, can, I can get down with this. The bullet is perfectly shaped to hug the lips. There's not a lot of tugging at all. Actually, there's, there's hardly any tugging. The slip to this is just right. It is that perfect, just right slip. This is the shade 220, the perfect pinky nude. I don't have 100. I don't even think I'll pick that up. I like the pink undertone of this nude shade. And here we have shade 824. This is a unique mauve shade, Saint Germain. I was very, very captivated by this cool tone. I love this. This has a very vampy vibe to it and I think would look absolutely stunning for fall lips. There are several reviews with this shade. Mm, this is gorgeous. I haven't changed out my lip liner. I still have on the original number one from Hourglass. I don't really feel like I need to simply because I think it'll just be fine. And this is the shade Saint Germain 824. Now look at me and tell me this is not the perfect vampy shade. Beautiful, cool toned. I feel like my teenage self. <laughs> not really, I wasn't really, I wasn't really um, grunge in my teens, but this is just the perfect grungy lip color. Other than a little bit of lipstick on my bunny teeth, I'd say this is an amazing shade. Let's move on to the shade 737, the very first shade I bought. This is Mystere Velvet. It is an orangey brown shade. The first one I bought because it was so unique and the pictures just looked so beautiful on the models. So I figured, let's give this one a go. This is just so grunge, I love it.
And this is the shade Mystere 737. I think this one is just such a beautiful grunge, nudie orange brown. Nudie orange brown, orangey brown. This is so grunge, I love it. Oh, I just, it's that 90s look. There's something about the 90s coming back, there is. I think this is just so unique. And then you, you think, well that's not really unique because it's 90s and everyone does that, but it really is. What luxury brand are you gonna find? Chanel doesn't do that. I don't know a Tom Ford shade like this with that orangey undertone. And it matches this look perfectly. Dang, I should have saved this one for last. What I was worried about was these darker shades not applying as smoothly as the nude shades. But honestly, this one applied even better than the nude 220 shade. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass lip liner in the shade 7 in sight. This will work perfectly for the next two shades. It's definitely starting to get harder to apply lip liner now that my lips are getting a little dry from removing so many different lipstick, uh, lipsticks. <laughs> Can't even speak. This one is my favorite red. I love reds. I, I will wear a red lipstick any chance you give me, I'm gonna wear it. This one is only available on Dior's website and Selfridges if I'm not mistaken because I, I checked several different retailers for this shade. This is 666 Rouge and Diablo. <laughs> Don't let the name put you off. The shade is a vibrant red. Now, I wanted to save this one for last, but the other shade here, I'm gonna save that one for last. The scent on this one is a little bit stronger than the other bullets. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that I grow a tolerance to it and it doesn't aggravate me. So let's apply 666. And here she is, the most beautiful red lipstick you will ever own. Or at least the most beautiful shade of red I own. I love this. This one is my favorite, 666 Rouge and Diablo. This one is hands down my favorite red. My favorite, why am I showing you this empty thing? My favorite. Of all the reds I have, there is something about this shade of red that is just so sexy and mysterious and just beautiful. It just draws you in. I cannot help it. Ooh. Mm. Not my perfect application. My lips are definitely feeling it. But man, this one. Yeah, this is the one. Oh. We have one more to get through, let's do it. My lips are already a little bit scared. <laughs> and finally, 854, this one is Rouge Shanghai. This one is also only available on the Dior website. I have not even worn this one yet, but this one just seems like it has a little bit more of a muted red, a little bit deeper, a little bit more on the grungy side and I found so few swatches of this online, so I'm really excited to wear this one. Let's do this, Rouge Shanghai. Definitely more muted. And here we have the shade Rouge Shanghai. Oh, so I would definitely say this is a deeper red, not as vibrant as Rouge and Diablo. There is something about this collection from Dior that I love. It's just pushing the envelope. And oddly enough, there are not enough YouTube videos that showcase these deep grungy tones. I took a risk because I wasn't really sure if the colors would match the images online. Some of them were really close. Some of these were really close. I would say Saint Germain definitely wasn't as close to the product images as I thought. It's a little bit deeper, but the tone is just right. 
So honestly, I'm very happy that I got a lot of these unique grungy shades and I'm super happy that I get to film it and upload it for you because if you're like me and you are just so intrigued by these Dior shades, I hope this helps. I really do because there, there are some incredible shades of lipstick in this new lineup. I apologize for my son. He's very happy today. <laughs> There's still one more shade I desperately want to get, 840. Mm. I told myself not to. I bought five of these, I don't need more. But then I still want to try 999, the iconic red. Mm. I hope you guys found this video helpful. It is always a pleasure being able to try on new things and be incredibly surprised and delighted by the formula that make you so happy you want to keep buying more. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> Don't do what I did, just be careful. However, the fact that all five of these are incredible makes me feel better. I would say out of all of these, 220 is my least favorite because it's a nude. I love nudes, they all have their place. But man, the rest of these, so unique. Everything on my face will be linked in the description box down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much, I do appreciate you. It goes back into supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.